Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you both for your testimony this morning and for your very good work. Um, Director Haynes, I would like to begin with you because I'm sure you've seen the report in, on CNN today that um, suggests that there were at least two possible incidents on U.S. soil of um, the directed energy attacks that have created um, symptoms sometimes called Havana syndrome in a number of our personnel. One of the incidents described here was happened on the ellipse in late 2020, and that's very close to the White House. So it, I'm not going to ask you if that report is correct or not, because I recognize that um, the, there has been a real effort to try and keep this information classified, but I do want to ask you about the concern that I have that that kind of clamp down on information that's available to Congress, that's available to the public, has led to leaks, and it's not clear whether the information we're getting is correct or incorrect. And so I wonder if you could speak to that and to what more can be done to declassify some of that information share it with members of Congress in a way that allows us to better respond. Um, after all, we have to fund operations, and there are a lot of personnel, not a lot, there are personnel who have been harmed who need to, we need to make sure get the care and benefits they need. Thank you, Senator, I, and thank you for your attention on this issue. It, it's critically important, and it's something that, that I, I know General Barrier, I know across the intelligence community, frankly, leaders are focused on this issue. Uh, on your particular question with respect to information, I, I'd be happy to look at this with you, to be honest. I think I completely understand getting the information is critical for you to be able to respond to these issues and ensure that you're able to make good decisions. Uh, maybe we can talk more about this also in closed session on these questions. And I think, um, you know, our concern obviously with the classification is because we believe that either it's protecting sources and methods and it's critical to our national security and we'll have to figure that out with you, but you should certainly have access to the classified information and we should figure out if there's a way to help you address these issues more generally. Well, again, I would argue that with stories like this, with stories that have appeared over the last two years, really, and those people who have been affected, who have gone public, that the horse is out of the barn on this. Um, the information is already out there, and I, I think it behooves us all to try and make sure that the information that gets out is accurate and that people understand what's happening and that there is an effort to respond to that.